I make champions, I'm a champion, but I never have to deal with moms. I do feel insecure a lot of the time. I feel your insecurity. So you have to believe in yourself, because I believe in you. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. As some of you probably know, a few years ago, I stepped in as a coach when Abby Lee Miller left the cast of Dance Moms. Going into the show, I really didn't know what to expect, to be honest, but it was such a great experience, and I truly loved getting to work with the girls and their moms. But there definitely were some dramatic moments. <laughs> Truth be told, I have never actually watched the episodes that I was on, so I decided to watch some of the footage today for the first time, I promise I haven't seen this before, with all of you. I don't know if I should be nervous or excited, but let's not wait, and let's just get right into it, shall we? I just want you to know that I'm very confident in all of you. Okay, let's get to work. One, two, three, four, we are forever here. Like we have to get into character. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Abby Miller says her dance exit was a long time coming. The fact that Abby quit, we've already won. She's coming this weekend. I am so she frustrated. Want the moms interfering. I can't focus. If I can't focus, I'm, I bet that you guys can't focus. So she kind of cuts us out. You're not the one wearing the costume, right? You're not the one dancing. So I just need you to shut your mouth. Trust the process and please trust me. I make champions. I'm a champion, but I never have to deal with moms. Every two seconds, these moms would walk into the dance studio as I was working with their kids. And they obviously have their whole future mapped out and planned out the way they wanted it. But these kids, they know exactly what they want. And it was really hard for them to express that because a mom would just come barging into the room. They also never knocked. I found that very rude. You both decided to move to Hollywood to make it. You guys auditioned and the winner is Nia. And you I love Nia. jealousy. I want real emotion. Like, you know, it's, it's serious, okay? Well, when were they ever allowed to truly express their feelings? They couldn't even cry, for heaven's sake. Holly, for the first four years, they couldn't even speak. Exactly. They weren't allowed to talk to Miss Abby. Um, like, I feel it in your body, but it's just not coming out enough. Um, you know, you need to think about something that really upsets you. And like, from what I know from talking to you, it's Abby, kind of tune into that emotion, whatever it is. I could tell Chloe is so insecure. When you have my hair extensions beaten down by somebody that's been a part of your life for so long, as heavy as it is, she can tap into that. It's so worth it at the end. Okay, that's so, right, Cheryl Burke. Let's do it. Chloe it's called Unconditional Love. Oh, Cameron. I have to say, I know there's been a little bit of YouTube drama with the comments. I know I may have hurt Cameron's feelings. I'm so sorry, Cameron. That was never my intention. Cameron is such a joy. She really is. And it made me want to come to work every day, just being able to work with such raw talent like hers. So I apologize. I'm so sorry if what I said in my last Dance Moms video hurt your feelings. You're the one that became successful in the Hollywood business. And then you realize that, you know, you don't need all the glitz and glam. And then you guys come back together. Like, whenever I talk emotion, I'm not asking you to act. Like, I need you guys to really, like, figure out a place in your life that this has happened. I hate when I go into a rehearsal room and I see people putting on a face, rehearsing their face, rehearsing what they're going to do when they do jive kicks and they throw their arms up and they're like, Wah. no, it has to come from a real emotion, you know, because it's a feeling, you know, and you want to be able to feel that through movement without talking. And that's what... Dances, it's a form of body language. Okay, got it. All right, cool. And so about three. Oh, right, right. Ryan, and she was my assistant during this time. She saved my stop. life. Stop, yeah. Cameron, she has a very strong personality, but Kendall is super insecure. Stay in character. It's because she's been taught not to have any emotion. Yeah. Um, I love all the like slamming like that's exactly what I want you to do but Kendall just remember like it's serious You really have to find that emotion. It looks messy. It's sloppy. You know Kendall if you have a problem with it Let me know and I'll switch you out Oh, she My frustration the is coming from eye roll. the fact that I feel like every single person on this team has given up Moms, girls, get in 
I know that these girls have so much potential. You know, I've been a part of the dancing business industry for years and years and years. And it's like, I'm known to get the best out of whoever I'm teaching. And in order for me to improve their dance, they've got to let that wall down. Uh-oh, I brought the moms in. You guys are all different in what you do. You guys are all individuals. Each and every one of you brings something so special to this team. And you have to realize that, and you have to know your strength. And I want you to really take what I'm saying and, and use it, because it's what you do in here that counts. Chloe, I feel your insecurity. So you have to believe in yourself, because I believe in you. You are so talented. You really are. I think Kendall also maybe suffers from that as well. I know she suffers from it, but she has to break down that wall. And you've got to show her, as your as her mom, that it's OK to be vulnerable. Because that's the only way that, that she's going to become a better dancer. It hurts me, sorry, <gasps> to hear you Jill. say how insecure my child is. I'm telling you how, you know, I'm insecure still. It feels like we failed as how moms. How could I let that happen? That's what you're feeling. But you I, haven't I, failed, because you're going to help her put the pieces back together. I do feel insecure a lot of the time because we've been through so, so beautiful, much in the past, but I'll have to deal with it. Mm -hmm. I got emotional on my eat that I did because I probably no. seemed like a Vulnerability is strength, girls. I wish I, I wish I was there now. There's what I know now thing, is a lot emotion. more Before, than what I knew years, then, pillow, but still. Cry, baby, but not here. I was not trying anymore. to get the point out, you know, but I just didn't have the words to put together. But About these it. girls are like, very I special girls. what it's doing to you guys now that you've grown like it's still there and when i think about everything that happened all i can rem remember is how she used to make me feel and oh, I see for so long for see a lot years. of people are like how dare you talk bad about abby listen i've got nothing personal against her what i don't necessarily agree with is her teaching style i don't agree with you know slamming these girls down to the point where they are questioning if they even want to dance and on top of that, feeling so insecure about themselves. You know, I come from the dance world, a different type of dance world, but my coach was always about me losing weight. And now I have body image issues. I'm not saying it's anyone's fault. I literally took it to the next level and I continue taking it to the next level. I'm also in an industry where you need to show your body and there is a weight that you need to stay under. It is what it is, but when it starts to affect your mental state and your self-esteem and your self-worth and love, that's when you need to take a step back and reevaluate the situation. Because at the end of the day, if the environment that you're working in isn't healthy, don't stay in it. Your own sanity is what matters the most. Tristan, I'm just like tired of having to prove myself and proving to Abby that I'm more than that. Like I just, I want her to go away. This is a little drop in what your life is gonna be. It's gonna help mold who you are. But here's someone who sees your worth and will help you overcome any of those chill. insecurities. You are good enough. I love Holly. Just you being She's you. She's a badass woman. That's good enough. In the teen advanced jazz category. Gosh, I remember going to these. Oh my God, I love it. These are long days, guys, long days. This was, where was this, like Orange County? Oh, the judges hated me. They really hated me. The judges hated me. They hated when I did a little ballroom thing, influenced ballroom into contemporary, and one of the judges came up to me. Fun fact, at the end of the performance, and was like, how dare you put that trashy ballroom stuff in there? Ballroom's not trashy. Let me see you do a bachicata, judge. <laughs> That's not a threat, don't worry. Oh, I love that Nia and Chloe. See, they never danced together all these years. I hope I just said, I hope my facts are right, but I believe that that's the case. And I'm glad that they did this together towards the end. Uh, these girls are very, very special girls. These costumes, you know, like it's so different the way that people put costumes together at different shows. But um, like the moms, they actually do their own hair and makeup. Um, the kids help, but like basically the moms put their hair up and get their costumes together. They basically, you know, do everything. And it's so sweet to see. That's like their little time to chat in those rooms, dressing rooms. I love Nia. She's got such a beautiful body. She's gorgeous and she's so womanly and she's just so 
secure, and you can tell Holly really raised a good one. She really did raise a great daughter, great young woman. Nice. Yeah, work it, still acting. <laughs> that was good, I said. I hope you guys enjoyed watching some of my Dance Moms episodes with me today and let me know in the comments below if you wanna see more Dance Moms content right here on my channel. I've got new videos, okay, you guys, new videos coming every single week. So make sure you're subscribed and you hit that little notification bell to know when new videos are posted. Until next week, sending you all so much love and light. Bye.